Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and we're going to be taking a look at a new game called Beer Factory. Now, I'm not a fan of beer personally, uh, so I'm just going to pretend this is called Root Beer Factory because I do like me some root beer. This game is on Steam, but it's not for sale yet, or at least not as of January 6, 2023, just in case you're watching this from the future. Uh, there is a button to request access, though. I did hit it, and I got access instantly, so give it a shot. We're going to go ahead and start a new game here. In normal, you play with the game experience as it was designed. Francis is present. All right, I don't know what any of this means, but I'm just going to start on normal difficulty because that's usually what I like to play. You know, it's funny. If, if a game is too hard on normal difficulty, I get I get annoyed. <laughs> and they're like, people are like, well, just turn down the game settings. I'm looking at you subsistence, by the way. Um... People are like, yeah, just turn down the game settings. I'm like, I don't want to. Like, <laughs> I mean, I might not be the best gamer in the world, but I don't think I need to turn down the game settings. Um, <laughs> all right, so here we go. We are at the Root Beer Factory. Mm, this is making me thirsty for root beer. Just going to throw that out there. I did drink beer as a kid. I just, I, not as a kid. I mean, like, as a young adult. Um, but I, I don't know. I just never liked it. Never liked it. My parents drank beer all the time. I, I could, maybe that has something to do with it. Cause I didn't like them drinking it all the time. Okay, here we go. Buy this old factory. Before we start working on it seriously, we will have to put the electricity back on, clean the factory, and do some renovations. The previous owner left a machine in the condemned part of the factory. Maybe we could restore it. While waiting for you to clean up the factory, I'm going to look for some subsidies. Ah, before I leave you, I heard that the factory was squatted, but it may be just a rumor. Close. All right, here we are. So, open factories barrier. There we go. Cool, because I couldn't just jump over that after all. And open the office door. Got it. I got the key for this place. Make yourself a coffee. Oh, so my I have a friend, Miser, who also does YouTube videos. You should look, look her up. Uh, she does all kinds of awesome videos. But anyway, my friend Miser is like a coffee addict, and I told her about this game. I was like, the first thing you do in this game is make and drink a coffee. You're going to love it. <laughs> She might just sit here making a drink and coffee all day, though. All right, there we go. And take the coffee and chug, chug, chug. Mm. I'm not a big fan of coffee, but cappuccinos I could I can get down with. Uh, here we go. Open the fuse box. All right, find and grab the fuse. This is a great beginning, by the way. I like the tutorial or whatever, whatever you want to call it. The guidance, okay, for a new game like this is phenomenal. And can I have it come closer to me? So I could rotate it, I could drop it, I could throw it, but I can't have it come closer to my body. Uh, okay, fair enough. And there we go. Hey, I'm the real owner of this place. Get out of my house. <laughs> I remember this. This is funny. Chase the bum by throwing objects at him. <laughs> I'm going to go throw some trash at a bum. All right, here we go. Take my stuff. Oh, darn it. Oh, I got him. Cool. Oh, there he goes. Okay, okay. I, I've got it. I'm leaving. That's a, uh, <laughs> this game's crazy. Um, open the factory gates. Can I take this? There we go. Congratulations, you received a new tuning part. Propane. Pimp my forklift. Collect. I don't know what any of that means, but I'm going to take this. Because we're going to throw this trash out pretty soon. Where do I throw it out? I thought it was around here somewhere, but I guess not. All right, fair enough. Open the factory gates. Go. So some crazy bum tried to tell me they own this place. Take the bag and throw it in the bin. Got it. There we go. Buy your broom at the tool shop. So I do have um $1,099 and one of 15 reputation points. It looks like you could also get a flashlight. And oh, by the way, when I drink that coffee, it allows you to sprint. So I, that's not going to last forever, though. Oh, that's cool. Dude, I like that. I love the idea of drink, having to drink coffee in a video game. Like, I kind of wish more video games would add coffee. And not just for thirst, but to give you boosts and bonuses. All right, broom. I don't drink coffee in real life either, by the way. Uh, necessary for cleaning stuff. We'll buy that. Broom unlocked. I think I could skip this. It just shows the broom. Here we go. So now we got to go get the broom. There we go. Pick it up. And let's clean the factory floor. So this is like oil stains. I don't think you can clean this with this. But there's also little dirt things here that you can clean. Oh, man, this is so good. You guys want to play Shopkeeper? 
That was like my, I know this isn't a shop game, but um, I, I think it kind of might be a shop game. But uh, yeah, Shopkeeper was awesome. I love that game so much. Um, put that away. And buy the tool desk. Okay. Uh, perfect kit for a handyman. Got it. And again, I will just skip this. It's just like a little thing about the, the tool bench. And you don't get to choose where it goes. It's just down. So equip yourself with a new toolbox. Okay. So I got a new toolbox. Is that all this does? Just give you toolboxes? I don't know. Maybe. Open the build menu. Uh, was it with tab? Let's see it. No. Uh, oh, you have to have this out to use the build menu. Okay, I get it. All right. Buy a storage. Buy a storage. Now, these you do get the place where you want. All right. And... Uh, let's just put this over here. There we go. Use your toolbox to screw the bolts. Okay. So here we go. And you just kind of, if you, you, if you use, if you just click on it and like hold the mouse, it'll like, it won't work. You need to stay on the head of the bolt. So as you're screwing it, you just kind of, you know, go down. How do I, uh, oh yeah, right. Mouse button. So if you, if you, if you do it right, you can just do it in one shot. You just got to follow the head of the bolt. And then you repeat the process here. Let's see if you, ah, I, I don't have the timing down. See, it goes fast at first and it slows down. I'm a terrible beer factory owner. Oh, there we go. We got that one good. All right, here we go. One, two. All right, we're halfway there. Cool. Come on. Oh, I did it perfect. I did it perfect. Look at me go. Now that I've already done it perfect, I don't, I don't really care if I do it perfect again, so I can do it a little faster with a little more confidence because if I mess up, it's not the end of the world because I already did it perfect. Not that it would have mattered anyway. All right, find the storage, and then all you have to do is put this within the ghost image or even do we even have to do that? Drop. Yeah, yeah, you do. I think it needs to be touching the ghost image. There you go. And this one. All right, that's going to be a little uh, reset position, throw, rotate. There we go. Cool. Now we need the plates that go in the middle. I'll put the one on top first. Nope. How do I put it up there? I can't, I can't reach that. All right, whatever. Let's just put it right here. I, I know that one will work. And then we got to put the last one on. Oh, because this one's... Yeah, because you see how this one's facing up and down. That's why it's allowed to go up there. Increase the reputation of the factory by level two. Okay, so the way we need to increase the um, the reputation is just by cleaning up the trash. So we're going to throw that in there. Throw that in there. Throw it. Throw it. Got a few more bags around here somewhere, I think. Maybe just one more bag? Yeah, it might just be one more bag. Once we're done cleaning up all the garbage, we use our mop to clean up the floor. Can I take any of this stuff? Doesn't look like it. I can't jump. It's going to be a real mind F that I can't jump. Like, it's just, it just doesn't compute, you know? It doesn't... That's not how I understand the world. Maybe if I have more coffee, I could jump. Here we go, and... Is there another one out here? I need more dirty spots. Oh, more garbage. Throw this out. I think there's another uh, filthy spot to clean up. I'm just not sure where it is. Let's take a look around. All right, there's no more in here. Oh, there's one. And I think you get a couple points for this, so this might be the last one. Oh no, there's another garbage to throw out. Do I get two, one point for this or two? I get two. Okay. That's what I thought. Good news. I found some subsidies for your factory. You will receive a transfer. With this amount, you should be able to destroy the separation of the factory and renovate the machine in the back of the factory. If you need more money, there are some investors interested. You can go to the computer to see about it and also see the conditions. Okay. Let's go take a look at the investors we can get. 
Because this is one thing I wasn't 100% sure about. Um, wait, actually, is the investors... No, we got to buy the extension first. Okay. So, yeah, machine machinery room construction. Nah, I'm not sure if that's it. Yeah, I think that is it. Buy a new extension for your factory. No, that's not it. Um, delivery contract investors. No, it's got to be right. It's got to be this, I think. Oh, it says extension right there. Okay, good. So we do that. And then we need to unlock the grain crusher. Good. And there we go. And then we need to accept a contract using the computer. All right. Oh, okay. So I was looking at the investors, okay? So the investors have money you can get, benefits shared. I, I'm assuming that means they get 5% of my profit. We'll just, we'll just stick with the first one. Um, all right, so I'll get $1,000. They'll get 5% of my profit. Do I have that right? And they'll also own 7.5% of the business. I, I don't know. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to look at this. Um, I didn't, I, I, we're now past the point where I did my test game. So this is all new to me. Uh, subcontract and refine, refine 24 stacks of raw grain reward, re reward reputation. Oh, okay, cool. All right. I guess I'll take that. All right, order one pallet of raw malt sack. Make sure to order the amount you need to fulfill the contract. Um, okay. What, where would that be? That's uh, delivery. Raw malt. Okay, so twenty-four. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. Yeah, I could just do it here. Is it one for one? I don't know. It was twenty-four. I think it was twenty-four. <laughs> I went right by it. Okay. Order. I don't know if that's what I need for it. Uh, drive the pallet jack. I will do that. Oh, there we go. Is it here? Is that it? Is that my delivery? Move up forks, move down forks, exit. Lock, unlock pallet forks. Cool. I like that it's an actual delivery and doesn't just show up. Do I have to get it? Open the back doors and, and truck and unload it. Okay, I guess I do. How do I get out of this? Um, wait, where'd the, where'd the uh, instructions go? <laughs> I don't know how to get out, off this thing. Okay, I got unstuck. Also, uh, press C to get off. It shows you the the... You know, on the right-hand side, it shows you how to, like, handle this thing, but it goes away eventually, and I didn't see all the controls. All right, let's go ahead and open this. All right, open the back doors of the truck and unload it. You must get the pallet out before you can interact. Okay. All right, so drive. So I probably need to put it on this and then lift it. Damn it. This thing's really hard to, to control. Easy. Damn, it either it goes like not at all or too slow or yeah, this is <laughs> this is not easy to use. Alright, so I'm gonna try and do. Uh, let's get on this, let's back up. And we're gonna line up to where we can just go f straight forward without turning. That's like impossible though. Yeah. Alright, so do I have to put this up now? So normally the thing I'm on right now would lift up. Oh, there we go. That thing I that thing I was on would lift up. Like just like that. That's how people get the stuff down from there. That's I used to work at a bagel shop. We had deliveries, that's how it worked. Power on your new grain crusher. Okay. I don't oh, this thing it sucks. <laughs> oh my god, it's awful. Like it doesn't turn, it doesn't turn, then it turns like 90 degrees. Alright, let's get off this thing for now. I don't know if it's one for one either, so I don't know if 24 malt was enough, but we'll see. Engine power on. Grab resources sack from the pallet. Okay, so can I grab one of these at a time now? Okay, cool. No, that's where it comes out. Drop. Did I do that right? Uh, it was probably going in, but let's see if we could... 
Make it a little easier. Clean the dirt under the grain crusher. Okay. I want to get this in position first. Oops, not like that. Drop. Um, drive. All right, I'm kind of liking this now. This thing's still a little awkward, but you know, it's all right. I can. I think it's it's usable, which is you know, good. Now, can I put a bunch of these on at once, or oh, I can throw it. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna leave it right there. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this in the meantime. I hear beeping. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Could be a warning beep for all I know. Oh. Clean. Oh, look at that. Okay. Refine the... Okay. Tips, grain... Refine one malt bag. Some tips on the grain crusher tab in the help menu. Okay. We'll see. Let's get all this crap out of here first. So can you only do one at a time, or...? There's already grain in there. How do I put that in the proper position? Just drop? Yeah. So I already put grain in there, so what's going on? What happened to the bags I already put in there? Not sure. There's a little thing right there. I'm not... What is that? All right, I'll try and re I'll try and refine one grain bag, and then we'll see what happens. And if worse comes to worse, I'll go into the menu and, and you know see what I did wrong here. All right, while I'm doing that, I will take out some trash. Oh, oh I can't sprint anymore. Oh, hold on, hold on. We get to we get to drink some more coffee now. It's Miser's favorite part of the game. Where's that gar? Where's that coffee? Can I eat stuff? No, not yet anyway. Enter number. Yeah, I can't enter anything. At least not yet, or I don't know how. Yes, give me that coffee. Man, you could really feel it when you can't sprint. I love the fact that you need the coffee to sprint. I know it seems like, well, it's just holding you back, but I don't know. It's, it's, it's not expensive. It's not hard to get to. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's see if anything's been uh, created here. See, I'm not sure what that's in the ground. I don't refine what well, but yeah, I might have to I'm gonna have to look into it. Maybe you need maybe you need like five bags or something. I don't know. Some tips on the green crusher tab in the help menu. Alright, let me go read the help menu. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm gonna show you the uh the tips because they're actually um really, really helpful. So help, green crusher. Uh, grain crush the first machine you own is a great importance to brewing process that can crush any type of grain in this case field the malt and hops to begin with you turn on the machine go to the power and press F we did that taking time to clean it is important um, you'll hear a loud beep when it's dirty so that's what that beep was um, when the container is filled with at least one bag use this lever to activate the crushing process and wait for your bags to come out expert tip don't hesitate to put an empty pallet in front of the output I don't have an empty pallet I guess I could empty the pallet that I already have maybe maybe I want to do that we'll see here you find three commands. Inverse inverse engine allows you to inverse the direction of the conveyor. Speed increases the speed as long as the lever is down. Clear funnel allows you to unblock any bags inside and push them out. To crush the bags of grain, simply place them on a conveyor belt. Automatically brings them to the container. Remember to organize the line of bags so they don't block each other. Okay. Um, I'm not going to do the pallet just yet. We'll see. Uh, so now that I got a bag in there, I should be able to just hit this. go and we've got a bag of grain i guess does it say grain uh no that's still crushed malt by the forklift yeah that's still crushed malt is it because i didn't hold it down long enough hold on a sec wait i didn't put that many bags in there did i maybe i did yeah this is all still crushed malt so i'm not sure what's going on here at least it says it's crushed malt. All right, so this says, oh, that's raw. Oh, it is. Okay, so that's raw malt, and this is crushed malt. Oh, okay. 
So I do need crush mold. Okay. I don't know why I thought it was something else that was supposed to come out of there. But yeah, that's looking good. All right, let's buy the forklift because we got a little mess right here. So we're going to come over here and buy... I don't know what... I thought it was supposed to be something else. I thought it was supposed to be... Well, I thought it was supposed to be grain because it's a grain crusher, but I guess the malt is considered grain. I don't know. <clears throat> All right. Delivery. Um, industrial market. Well, we're definitely going to need one of these. And storage plate. I don't see a forklift. Does it tell me where to go? Buy a forklift. Okay. I just got, I guess I just got to find it. Uh, it's not an upgrade. It's um, not in here. It's not a contract. It's not an investor. I don't know where I get the forklift. Let me see if I can find it. There it is. It's in upgrades tool shop. So we're going to go ahead and buy that. And I don't think I bought the pallet. So let's go ahead and buy the pallet. Wait, can I not? There we go. I said the wrong button. Delivery. And by the way, you can scroll along here. I didn't notice that. So let's go ahead and buy a pallet. Add order. All right, cool. All right, we're just waiting for the pallet. Oh, where'd, where'd this truck come from? I didn't buy a truck. Find the first fork. Wait. Find the first fork. Oh, I see. Got to put this thing together. All right. Can I just... Um, there we go. Can I take this thing out myself? Oh, cool. All right, good. Get out of here. All right, where's the second fork? Oh, is that what this was? I was wondering what this thing was. Glad I didn't, like, you know, crowd it in there. I wouldn't be able to get it out. Seems like you could just drop stuff maybe into the ghost image too. Yes, you can. Drive the forklift. All right. Turn on the engine. Um, export your first production. To do this, place your pallet full of resources you refine um, in the trunk. Oh, that's what the... Okay. All right. That's what the um, that truck is for, apparently. I think forklifts are kind of hard to drive, aren't they? Like, I know you need a license for them. Okay. Um, hold on. Hold on. Hold up. Okay, go forward. There we go. Move up more. Oh. Am I on the wrong side of this? Like, how are you supposed to carry these? Uh, I don't know. I think that was the way to carry them. All right, exit. Oh, I don't know how to use forklifts, obviously. Uh, I think we got to flip this over. Can I, can I grab this? Oh, I can. Okay. I would like to figure out how to get the forklift to carry this thing. Maybe maybe it doesn't carry it easily unless it's got stuff on it. Do you think that could be the case? I'm going to try one more time without anything on it. Right, come on. Back up. We gotta lower the thingies. Hold on. Uh, move them down with E. Put them all the way to the floor. And then we'll pick it up a little bit. And that should be able to get this this pallet on the forklift. Come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. Yeah, let's just get it against the wall. God, I think I just broke it. All right, perfect. Just what I needed. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just going to carry this stupid thing. All right. Uh, F to turn it off, right? Uh, yep, there we go. It is quite loud. Grab this. And... Oh, wow, that was easy. Nope, you go back. So now I can't, I can't grab the pallet anymore. Grab from the pallet, so I'll look... Okay. I think we need to put this down properly. Um, reset rotation. Throw. Rotate. Drop. Let's try dropping it. Alright. Oh, we're getting there. Nope. No good. Pick it up again. Drop. I think that might be pretty good. Let's try. 
All right, grab one of these. Throw it on there. And let's see if that pops out where we need it to be. So this is crushed. So all you gotta do is G and yeah, okay. I like the way it snaps into place. Wait, I could probably just throw it from here. Look at that. Look at me go. All right, now let's see how this works. What is that thing? Fill. Oh, it's not filled. Wait, how many how many things need to go up there? Oh, come on! I knocked it out of place. All right, it might be okay still. All right, let's just throw a bunch of these on. See how it goes. Gotta listen to the beeping. Because the beeping will let us know when it's um when it's dirty. Okay, it seems okay now. So let's go ahead and pull this down. All right, cool. All right, now we just need to hold this down until they're all out of there. Come on, is there any, not any in there? There we go. I wonder when I'll know if it's when there's none left, right? I finally got it. Um, <laughs> I didn't do all the bags. I just wanted to like make sure I could do some. But yeah, this thing, uh, this forklift, man, uh, needs a little bit of work. It's like, it's very like you're either turning too fast or not turning at all but we got it and I guess we just got to put this in the truck oh, full of resource to refund in the truck the pickup is the truck of the pickup using the forklift okay do I have to open up the hold on I probably have to open up the the back of it mm, no, I guess not all right do we do it from the side or the back or does it matter? Um, I guess I'll do it from the back. It should be high enough. Got this thing. All right, here we go. Is that good enough? I hope so. Uh, what do we got? Uh, e to move it down. Okay, good. They're very generous with that one, that's for sure. Okay, so that's 18 to 24. Let's get the rest in there. Although I think I lost my pallet, but pallets are pretty cheap, so I'll just buy them. Actually, I could just take them off that. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to run all of these up there, and then I'm gonna move this pallet over there. And I might just use this um, this thing right here. It's, it's, it's not great, but man, that forklift is rough. Although I should probably get used to using the forklift. So I think I should have done all 24 at once, because if you don't have a full pallet, the weight becomes an issue and the pallet like falls off like this one's been falling off for me the whole time but i'm gonna try and get it in that truck see what we can do right, it's gotta be high enough to go on the over the truck and there we go okay cool so that worked out for me but man that was um that was not the way to do it you definitely want to do the whole thing okay let's see what we got here i think we could finish that contract now uh, which way do I get out of here? I go this way. Yeah, here we are. I got orientated. All right. Complete your first contract. Um, contract. Validate. All right, cool. 34 reputation. Awesome. Oh, it only gave me one here, though. I thought it would give me like 34. Oh, I think it did. I think it leveled me right through level two. And now I need 60 points. So that's why you need so many. And I'll get another contract in 15 seconds. Okay. All right, guys. This game seems pretty dope. If you guys want to see me play more of it, make sure you let me know in the comment section. Make sure you like the video, share the video, all that good stuff. I'd be happy to make more videos. This game seems pretty cool. All right. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.